there is nothing like a film that once you completely finish watching it, the gears are turning, the conversations are flowing, and it may be a measure of self-accountability. I don't know. Nonetheless, very excited to talk about this new project. So let's jump into the review of the new film, The Young Wife. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the new film, The Young Wife, which is available in theaters and digital right now. So I had heard about this film for a little over a year where it made its world premiere at South by Southwest of 2023. Um, and, and, and with it being in the vision section and the narrative features category, I mean, that's typically what I go after when I'm in um, or attending a festival. Um, and then, you know, ultimately when you start to look down the cast, you know, at that point, you're pretty much. So first of all, I want to start off with, um, our writer and director who comes back with her sophomore film and Tyree Chappelle, who did a uh, seller in the space, who, which was a film that, um, I, I very much deeply remember and like very much connected with, because, um, I think it told a really refreshing story. Uh, with, you know, the art style of the film and, 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 and truly like with a focus on the youth, like I, I enjoyed it. And plus it was like right before the pandemic or right in the very beginning of the pandemic. So like when, you know, the world was shutting down and where were we going to get our entertainment from? This was one film that I remember being available. Uh, one of the first films also on Amazon Prime Video, just now Prime Video now. So like this, this is a lot that I remember with that film. So obviously uh, her coming back, I wanted to see what she was going to cook up next. And I'm just going to quickly stop and say that, oh, this is a very, very fantastic film um, to the point that once the film ended for me, I actually wanted to kind of hear her take on the film. I would love like a podcast or another little mini a blog or vlog or some sorts where she's kind of talking about some of the different perspectives in this film because um, there's a lot that you can get from this film and, and, and not just a lot that you can get, but everybody's going to sort of pull something different from it. Um, but we'll talk about what the film is about in one second. I want to keep going down the list of the cast because our stars are Kiersey Clemens, who's having a phenomenal uh, uh, last few months. Uh, first of all, I've been a fan of her since Dope. Uh, but then Monarch, Legacy of Monsters uh, on Apple TV+, Plus, which is something you totally want to go check out. Uh, Leon Bridges singer songwriter come on now um the two of them have just fantastic chemistry um you really really buy into everything that they're selling in their performances here um cheryl lee ralph <laughs> abbott elementary moesha classics you know um and i think abbott El elementary will go down as one of the best shows in all the television when it's all said and done and then judah flight um poker face transparent who's the boss <laughs> but i'm just gonna say like just strong performances and um kiersey character is truly the focal of this film and with all the people that i named and and the, the cast goes on and on there's so many 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 other folks uh they really pair her off to have moments with each of these other uh cast members so you're getting some very strong moments from person to person to person and these sort of just different moments just really shows you just how phenomenal actor she is but ultimately just how strong of a cast this is up and down the board um Kiersey plays the character Celestina um she's a young woman who's uh really going through a pivotal point in her life um on the brink of marriage kind of wanting to throw a party together but not really kind of call it a wedding you know what i mean she's kind of doing it her way which i actually think is pretty cool you know instead of just going the old school traditional route but yeah on our on our wedding day you know she 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 does it her way and invites people over and it sort of becomes a party and then with that too you know she is dealing with a lot of like the expectations of what does it mean to be a wife to be a young wife um to be a successful person in terms of employment 
Um, and, and, and with her friends and family all in attendance, everybody sort of just passion their own sort of judgments or expectations. And at this rate now, it's just pure chaos up and down the board because she's getting it from everywhere. And like, you know, in a way, this is a film. So you can watch this film and enjoy it. Uh, but also, I think it, it, it starts conversations about your own life, about, you know, boundaries and, 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 and creating your own expectations and, and living your life your way. Um, so, you know, you do get these moments where Celestina is standing, you know, 10 toes down, you know, about how she wants to do this. But she's still having these very powerful and moving conversations with so many different folks, friends, uh, family and so on and then her 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 husband to be uh river played by leon bridges he also comes in as the person that well she loves he loves her his expectations of what marriage and the wife looks like and they have some very interesting conversations so there's a lot you can really pull from this film uh, especially anybody who's on the brink of of, of marriage like to kind of sit back and what, what is considered the norm you know and, and and sort of figure it out your way your style um but with that being said like yeah the the, the film um dialogue alone is written very strong uh the performance as i mentioned brings those words to life and you're getting some very powerful movie moments. there's some humor in there too you know there's some some witty and and, and, and some uh, comedic banter within these characters which you enjoy so you don't have to worry about it just being so heavy and you just kind of just <laughs> devastate it um so there, there's absolutely great balance with that the one thing i will say is this film is very artsy it it definitely takes some um, very creative moments um, in terms of the cinematography and to me it kind of uh, it kind of reminds me of blind spotty minus sort of the theatrical uh, the, the, um, the, the the musical part of it but yeah there's definitely like some the, the more of the theatrical approach to this film um, so like yeah you, you you absolutely get it very much shot. Uh, normally but then you start to feel like certain particular parts of this film is almost like a stage play but i think it is sort of tapping into the different messages um also what the characters are like mentally going through and then they bring that imagery to life with it so like i i, I think it's it's very much well executed um and, and to the point that like while i'm even giving this review there's still so much more that I feel like in the rewatchability of this film, which I think has a lot, that I kind of want to go back and kind of like dissect some other little messages and some some other like moments in this film because there's there's a lot of different things happening. And I always say when it comes down to um, color choices in films, they're they're very intentional. So kind of being able to understand what some of these moments mean and how does that relate to the viewers? How's that? mean for the characters like they they absolutely make some very very um interesting choices that gives this film um the utmost rewatchability but i, I th this is a fantastic film uh, it's, it's 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 visually stunning uh it, it, it it's moving um the performances are 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 this spectacular and 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 because this is an independent film shall i mention i also think like you see characters in a way that you typically haven't seen them they usually take these type of roles so they can really exercise their craft and really show us what they can do so kiersey has been phenomenal for years and i still think she's just getting so much better and better and better and cheryl lee ralph and judith life still coming in icons um giving us a lot in this film i mean i gotta be honest they're kind of tyrants because when they're in scenes man you you just know what time it is and they they deliver and then leon bridges here you know from singer songwriter to actor um he absolutely comes into the film towards the later part of the film really shakes things up um and then that chemistry between himself and kiersey they it, it just it's a home run so um, i did mention aya cash who i really really love uh I, I love her presence in this film as well too you know she can give you a lot she's a phenomenal actor and and it's kind of it's, it's it's really interesting seeing her in this film and contributing in a way that just makes all of her moments which aren't really a lot but all, all the ones that they that she has 
make them count. <laughs> so I, I just want to say, because I'm, I'm very interested in seeing what's up for her next. It's been a little minute since I seen her in something um, outside of the boys um, and the girl in, in, in Plainville, but I can't wait to see what she cook up next. Scare Me is one of my favorite films, so I had to make sure I give her a shout out for that. But nonetheless, check it out. The Young Wife is available in theaters and digital right now. Jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about this one once you do. And as always, stick around for more reviews very soon.